Dear students, we continue our course Computational Intelligence Online by covering the topic Evolutionary Algorithms. Evolutionary algorithms are inspired by the theory of evolution proposed by Darwin in the 19th century. We are starting to evolutionary algorithms through an introduction. First, we are going to consider the definition of an optimization problem. An optimization problem, which is a triplet, it is given by a source space omega. An evolution function f, which is a function from source space omega to real numbers r, that assigns a quality assessment to all candidate solutions, as well as a comparison relation this is the symbol for the uh, comparison relation. It may be either less than or greater than. After defining the optimization problem, we are then defining the set of global optima H. H is a subset of the omega. It is defined as H is a, the collection of points in source space omega such that for any other point x prime in the same source space, the value of the function, evaluation function f at point x is greater than or be better than the value of the function at x prime. Uh, this is the comparison operator. If this, is, this operator is greater than or equal to, then it means that this uh, collection of points is a global maximum. In the other case, if, if the comparison operator is chosen as less than equal, then this set H is corresponding to global minimum. Given an optimization problem, omega F and a comparison uh, operator, it is desired to find an element in the source space which optimizes the function F in the whole search space. There are four uh, fundamental approaches for solving the optimization problem. The first one is the analytical solution. The analytical solution is uh, efficient, however, it is uh, rarely applicable. It, it may not be possible to uh, solve the uh, optimization problem by finding an analytical solution. Analytical solution may not be available. The second approach is exhausting ex exploration. In this case, we are checking any possible point in the source space. We are evaluating the value of the function at that point. And after that, comparing the values and choosing the uh, point X, which has the be be best uh, evaluation value. Uh, this is very inefficient because it is not um, uh, it, it, it is uh, not efficient to check each point and evaluate the value. So if, uh, it, uh, if the source space is small, then it can be usable, but for the other cases, it is very inefficient. The other, other uh, choice may be random search, but uh, this is also an inefficient uh, approach because randomly choosing the points and then evaluating the value of the function in, at these points and then choosing the point which has the best value for the function is not inefficient because by chance it will not be uh, most it will not be the, the probability will not be high for choosing a point for which the value of the function is good. Instead of these uh, approaches, there is one more approach, which is uh, called guided search. For, for this one, we have precondition. This is saying that similar elements in the omega space, source space, have similar function values. So this is saying that if we are doing search, if we have a good element, uh, in that case, look around that point to find a better solution. And after finding a better solution, also some other points around the new 
polis may be searched. So there is a guided search here. Evolutionary algorithms are um, a, a kind of guided search for the solution of the optimization problems. There are some biological basics for the, the evaluation evolution, evolutionary algorithms. They are grounded on theory of biological evolution proposed by Darwin in the 19th century. These are saying that, biological basics are saying that, there should be variation. New variants are continuously created by mutation and genetic recombination. This is corresponding to sexual reproduction. And uh, the second one is inheritance. Inheritance is saying that variations are genetically, pa genetically passed to the next generation. We have some fundamental principles. These uh, principles are saying that beneficial traits features or properties, traits are uh, these, resulting from random variation are favored by the natural selection. So if the, if the uh, change is beneficial, then it will be favored by in the natural selection. And also better chances of reproduction of individuals with beneficial traits. If a individual is better than others, then that individual will have more chance for being selected for reproduction. There are some fundamental terms. Here we are going to cover their meanings, both in a biology and also in computer science. The, the first notion we are going to consider is individual. Individual in biology is uh, corresponding to a living organism. In computer science, in the evolutionary algorithm, it is co corresponding to a solution candidate. The chromosome in biology is corresponding to DNA. In computer science, it is corresponding to a sequence of computer objects. Chromosome is describing a, a construction plan or some of the traits of an individual in encoded form. In biology, we, we usually have multiple chromosomes per individual. However, for the evolutionary algorithms, we have usually only one chromosome per individual. A gene is a part of chromosome in biology, a computational object in the computer science. Gene is the fundamental unit of inheritance which determines a partial characteristic of an individual. Allele or allelomorph is form or value of gene. In the, in the computer science, its meaning is value of computing object. In each chromosome, at most, we have one form or value of a gene. And also another concept is locus. Locus is the position of a gene in biology. And also, uh, very similarly, it is position of a, position of a computing object in the evolutionary algorithms. At each position in chromosome, we have exactly one gene. Phenotype and genotype are related concepts. Phenotype is corresponding to physical appearance of a living organism, while Genotype is corresponding to genetic constitution of, of the living organism, of the individual. For the computer science, 
phenotype is corresponding to implementation of a solution candidate. However, genotype is encoding of a solution candidate. So this is the chromosome and this is the solution, corresponding solution. In, in population, uh, the population is a set of living organism for biology and it is a bag of chromosomes in the computer science. Generation has the same meaning for biology and computer science. It is the population at a point in time. For uh, generating offsprings, we have reproduction. In biology, reproduction is creating offspring of one or multiple. We have usually two parent organisms and uh, it is corresponding to creating child chromosomes from one or multiple parent chromosomes in computer science. Fitness is the aptitude or conformity of a living organism and uh, it is uh, very similar. It is the aptitude or quality of a solution candidate. Fitness determines chances of survival and reproduction. We have some ingre ingredients of an evolutionary algorithm. One of them is the encoding. Encoding for the solution of candidates. This is very uh, problem specific. There is no general rule how to make encoding. So attention should be paid to when choosing an encoding and depends on the problem. And this is the hardest part of the uh, evolutionary algorithms. We need a method to create an initial population. Initial population is commonly created by simple generation of random sequences. Depending on the chosen encoding, sometimes more complex methods may be needed. We will see some examples of the uh, encoding and initial population uh, later in the lecture notes. We need an evaluation function. This is also called the fitness function to evaluate the individuals. This uh, evaluation function represents environment and assess quality of individuals. Often it is identical to the function to optimize. It may also contain additional elements, for example, constraints. We also need termination criterion. Termination criterion may be either user specified number of generations have been created up to that point, or it may be chosen as no improvement of the best solution candidate for a user specified number of generations or it may be user specified minimum solution quality has been obtained. We continue with decoding function. For each optimization problem, a different representations of solutions, solution candidates is used. Evolutionary algorithms separates space omega so-called phenotype from the representation of the solution candidate in individual so-called genotype G. If we consider the evolutionary algorithms, mutation and recombination is defined on genotype. However, fitness function is defined on phenotype. 
For evaluation of fitness of an individual, the genotype representing an individual uh, in a G should be transformed to phenotype in the search space. For, for, for transforming a genotype to phenotype, we need a decoding function. A decoding function represented as DEC is a function from the genotype space to source space, phenotype space. This is a transformation of genotype to the phenotype in omega. Uh, 